radio station all day long, every day. www.batamufm.com And now it's time for Batamu FM Newsweek from Buya Cameroon with Bison Jiradin Tangi. Hello listeners and welcome to the news this week from Cameroon with Bisong Geraldine Tangi. Still topping the headlines this week, in Cameroon is the continuous fight against the Boko Haram sect and fears keep rising as the group expands its operations. As they continue to raid schools and villages in neighboring Nigeria, the number of homeless children fleeing into the north of Cameroon has been on a rise. In one of their cross-border raids in Maba's village in the north of Cameroon this week, officials reported the kidnap of at least 60 persons. However, about 24 individuals were reported free following a fight back by the Cameroonian military. Worthy of note is the fact that the Chadian troops started making their way into Cameroon this Sunday, and not only is Chad involved as a foreign nation in the fight, but Russia is also coming in. In addition, a meeting held between President Paul Bier and Ambassador Ahmad Alami, Secretary General of the Economic Community of Central African States, ECAS, was focused on the fight against the terror group. The meeting, which held on Wednesday, the 21st of January, sought to mobilize ECAS member states to help in the fight against Boko Haram. And the story of human interests, Linda Nyanang, an 11-year-old primary school pupil in Betwa, was delivered of a bouncing baby boy last Saturday. The delivery, which went unsuccessfully without need of a C-section, raised many eyebrows as many wondered how possible that could be. The purported father of the baby is said to be a Form 4 student of Lycée de Belabo in Betwa, even though he denied the allegations at the Belabo Gendarmerie Brigade. Now on to sports. The indomitable Lions of Cameroon drew their first match against Mali. The match, which seemed tough and quite challenging, left many Cameroonians debating about the performance of the Lions. Now this is what some of them had to say. The match between Cameroon and Mali was not an easy one. It was so tight for Cameroon, but nevertheless, they tried and scored one goal. I was not very impressed about the performance of Cameroonians because, you know, the kind of shock we had during the World Cup, we had this kind of tension, hoping that they would do something better. And with the new players that have come in, we thought they were going to do their best. But unfortunately, we did not even see some of those players who were out lifting up the image of Cameroon. While many hope for the best in the subsequent marches, supporters still have high expectations and suggestions for the Cameroonian team. Here are some views. Yeah, we know that after the match, we are hoping that they will do something better. The coach has to work hard and the players to see that we stand firm and bring back the cup to Cameroon. I expect um, the Cameroon coach to really try to unite the players so they can work hand in glove so we can get a better expectation. We can try to bring back the trophy to Cameroon. Thank you. With that, Titus, we call it a wrap for our news this week from Cameroon. And until then, I remain Bison Geraldine Tani. My sister, you don't hear? Hear, wait, you don't start again? No, not be sad, I don't start again, no. You never hear of Batimu FM? Now, which one be that? Ah, ah. Batimu FM, that's on radio way, it did not find Mutumbu. It get fine, fine program then. For example, it gets Africa Family Show, Pepe Soup, Talent Promo, and other fine, fine thing them. Ah, if you listen to me. Now you need talk. Just type www.batimufm.com. You go see how for listen to Wait, you feel even listen for your phone self. Just download tune in app. Then search Batimu FM. Now so easy. You be really my friend, oh. You know if you find it, you know, tell me. Batimu FM, na big time entertainment radio. Eh, my friend. Na so my friend. <laughs>